What is the rhythm? Is this regular? Because if you're thinking of sinus bradycardia, you need a regular rhythm. So let's see. We have one, two, three big squares, four little squares, and four little squares on the other side. So one, two, three, and four little squares on the left, and four little squares on the right. Let's see on the next R to R. We see one, two, three, four big squares, and two little squares, about the same. If we count the smaller squares, let's do with the smallest one so, so you can learn how to do that also. Remember that in a, in a big square, let me show you here, in a big square, there's five little squares. So we got five little squares here, five, 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 that's 15, plus four on this side is 19, plus four on this side is about 23 small squares. If we check from here to here, we have five, 10, 15, 20, plus two, 22, and one on this side is 23. Same. So this is a, a regular rhythm. Now, what's the heart rate? Some of you are saying sinus bradycardia. If this is sinus bradycardia, my heart rate needs to be less than 60. Is the heart rate less than 60? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The heart rate is close to 70. So this is not sinus bradycardia. What about the PR interval? We measure the PR interval from the beginning of the P wave to the beginning of the QRS. We see that we have a big square and two small squares. We have seven small squares. That's too long. Remember, it's supposed to be between three small squares to five small squares. We have seven small squares. So we have prolongation of the PR interval, and it is constant on the EKG strip. We have a P and a QRS all the time, which means we don't have a second degree heart block because you know that a second degree heart block, they are missing QRS complex. And I don't see multiple P waves. And if I don't see multiple P wave, it cannot be atrial fibrillation. The correct answer is a first degree heart block. Why? It is regular. There's a P and a QRS. The rhythm, the heart rate is 70, close to 70. And the only thing that I have is prolongation of the PR interval, which is constant. That is observed in a first degree heart block.